The Kosovo president, Thasi, is currently facing a war crime indictment. The Kosovo president, Ashim Thasi, has been accused of war crimes by a special international prosecutor in The Hague. Mr. Thasi and others are criminally responsible for nearly 1,000 loss of lives, mistreatment, and enforced disappearances, stated the prosecutor. The accusations covering Kosovo's independence war against Serbia are being assessed by a judge at the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, who will decide if the case goes to trial. Mr. Thasi has denied any wrongdoing. In his announcement, the Special Prosecutor's Office, the SPO, said that on the 24th of April, it had filed a 10-count indictment with the KSC for the court's consideration. It has not released the details about the alleged war crimes. The indictment is also an accusation. It is the result of a lengthy investigation and reflects the SPO's determination that it can prove all of the charges beyond a reasonable doubt. Tassi and another of the accused Kosovo politician Kadri Vesely have sought to obstruct and undermine the SPO's work in an attempt to ensure that they do not face justice. Pre-trial judge now has six months to decide if the court will issue charges. The allegations of organ trafficking against the Kosovo Liberation Army, the KLA, the rebel movement that Mr. Thasi led, were first set out by a former aid war crimes prosecutor, Carla Del Ponte, in 2008. The EU-backed court was set up to investigate the claims. Kosovo's Government has angrily denied the allegations, calling them baseless and defamatory, ahead of the publication of a report in 2010. Mr. Thasi has been in power in Kosovo since the end of the war, most recently as president of Kosovo. The independence war in 1998 to 1999 cost more than 10,000 lives and only ended after a NATO year campaign. Kosovo declared its independence in 2008, something Serbia still does not recognize. The president was due to travel to Washington, D.C. for planned talks with Serbia's leadership in the White House on Saturday. He has now canceled his trip. Kosovo's specialist chambers has suddenly broken his silence in the most dramatic manner. It has not just revealed that Kosovo's president is the subject of an indictment for war crimes and crimes against humanity, but also accused him of repeated efforts to obstruct and undermine the work of the court. Anyone who has ever attempted to get information from, from the KSC, this is a staggering development. The court has revealed virtually nothing about its work since it was established in 2016. Even when Kosovo's former Prime Minister Ramush Aradinaj said that he had been questioned as a suspect last year, there was no confirmation from the KSC. The fact that the prosecutor has indicted Achim Thasi is actually less surprising than the manner of the court's announcement. The KSC was set up to examine the allegations in a 2011 Council of Europe report which named Mr. Thasi as the leader of a criminal offshoot of the Kosovo Liberation Army involved in drug and human trafficking. At the time, Mr. Thasi said the council report contained baseless allegations and threatened to sue the author. The former Prime Minister of Kosovo had resigned after a war crimes court in The Hague summoned him for questioning as a suspect. Arijanaj 51 served as a rebel commander in 1998-1999 Kosovo conflict, which eventually led to Kosovo declaring its independence. He has said that he stepped down so he could attend court as an ordinary citizen. Mr. Arijanaj, who denies war crimes charges, has been tried and acquitted twice at the UN Tribunal. I received a call by the special court as a suspect and was offered to go as the Prime Minister or as an ordinary citizen of Kosovo. He chose the latter. Responsibility now goes to the president to start consultations to set the date of the general election.
The special EU bar court was set up in 2015 to try war crimes allegedly committed by the KLA against ethnic groups and political opponents. Mr. Aradinaj has been acquitted twice on war crimes charges at The Hague, first in 2008 and then in 2012, but Serbia said it had further evidence involving civilian loss of lives. Mr. Aradinaj has consistently denied the allegations and stepped down as Prime Minister just after 100 days in 2005 to face the charges. The judge, at his most recent trial in 2012, said there was no evidence to support the claims. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the Learning Academy.